Hi guys, my name is Udo. Welcome back to another figure drawing tutorial. Today we have a standing pose, kind of a three-quarter view, twisted upper body. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's see what we can do. So, I start with the head. Sternal clotted mastoid muscle starts behind the ear and I'm using the bean shape to get the, the gesture on the paper first. That kind of situation and then we have this is maybe a bit too much but I can correct that. And now the arms coming here, going back to the head, like this, and it's, the arm is actually almost going, uh, it's continued almost in a straight line, like this, coming up here, and finger is doing something like this, and the other leg is doing something like this here. Okay? So we have more or less the gestural information let's put it this way, the first part of the gestural information in place and now we kind of go over the drawing with um, yeah, certain, I'm looking for anatomical landmarks, I'm gonna tell you in a second and by this layering process you add more and more information but it's very important to get the gesture on the paper first you don't have to use the bean form you can use the box form you can use just simple lines whatever is comes handy comes in handy for you is 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 fine whatever is best for you you choose this is i think quite a, a nice idea to get the the basic um, position of the major mar masses of the body on the paper first. The box would have been a good idea to, to, to use the box but anyway I decided for the bean so let's get to it. Let's continue. Okie dokes. So next consideration is center line coming here and this strong C shape here coming here C shape and then we have I'm looking at my first anatomical landmark is the iliac crest that bow of your pelvis there's an aces bone here I keep mentioning the aces bone and I'm immediately looking I'm looking for the other one which is here and yeah Okay, dog. So far, then we have this triangle coming down here and doing something like this, and the crutch is somewhere around here, maybe a bit further down, like so. Okay, now we have uh, because the the upper body is leaning backwards and at the same time twisting, we have a a very strong compression on this side. Don't miss that that's important. Very strong compression and we see more than probably two-thirds of the left side of her pelvis. Like so. Okay, then we have this situation coming down like this. Actually, it's more like this. Okay. Here is somewhere up here. And okie dokes. Hip. Then we have um, the external obliques attaching here. It's quite a surface here. You can. You get. If you look at the model, next consideration is 
where's the belly button is somewhere around here. I'm looking for the belly button because right next to the center line there is a third line we must, must not miss. That's where the rib cage ends, comes down and cuts through here, goes to the inside like this and here we come out with another line so we have this a little bit more three-dimensional but we need those three lines here or you can use tone also good but there is not much going on talking about a light and shadow so I'm using this line to make sure I have a, a certain three-dimensional appearance okay comes here now then I'm using a, a cylinder a cylindrical form for the thigh coming here and I'm tapering it already like so and I separate it so this becomes one unit then I'm drawing the knee goes a little bit to the inside here and again I'm tapering uh, sorry I'm using a cylinder tapered cylinder come out here and it's doing something like this finish the foot like so Okay, so far so good. And the leg is a little bit too long, but as I said before, as long as the whole pose doesn't lose integrity, I personally don't mind if one of the legs is a little bit too long or arm is a little bit too long, as long as it doesn't look comic -y, like cartoon style. That's what I don't want to have. But I can live with a leg that's a little bit longer, but probably not with a leg that is too short. That's a different thing. When you mess up, just mess up the right way. So if the leg is a little bit longer, it still looks aesthetic, it looks fine. If it is too short, it looks out of place. So keep that in mind. <laughs> if we really mess up, mess up the right way. Again, cylindrical form. Cylindrical form. Hand and the finger. Okie dokes. I just realized the head is a little bit more to this side. I can still change that in that stage more like like so yeah and the ear is roughly around here okay lines got a little too heavy and the center line is also more to this side Okay. So far. Looks okay. -ish. Okay, now the other arm is coming up. We we here where the Standing for that mustard muscle is, we come around here, that's this little line is coming from behind, it's the trapezius muscle, deltoid going here, and the arm is doing something like this. We have another cylindrical form, and it's going into 
into the lower arm, like so. And note that's a strong cut of um, the pectoralis muscle going. Um, sorry, um, the ah, <laughs> the deltoid muscle coming here and the pectoralis muscle goes here and is doing something like this. Attaches here. Okay. So, next breast. Pectoralis attaches here at the humerus. We come here with the breast. Note that one nipple is lower, the other one is higher. We have a double line here, very important, where the pectoralis muscle and a little bit of... Um, oh my gosh, I forgot. A very... the latissimus. Oh my god, how could I forget the latissimus? Anyway, it's the latissimus coming here, going this and then we intersect here we have center line and going down like this like so okay dogs so this is a little bit too high up She's a little bit longer in the hip, so so this is the center line doing something like this. Okay. So now next consideration is well is the leg here. So I'm finishing the leg and I'm drawing through and it finishes somewhere around here I draw very lightly just in case I messed up the length the length and like so okie doke Mm -hmm. Elbow condyles here. This line is also very important. It's um, the external obliques. The external obliques or the flank pads, they attach here to the humerus. I don't want to connect the lines here because that takes away from uh, the three dimensionality. So, okay. Then we have uh, the knee here and calf muscle is coming up like so. Okay, this line is not connecting, it goes into nowhere. It shouldn't be the case, it should be consistent. Okay, only this here is a bit, got a little bit of a mess.
so coming here come from the ear and doing something like this the ear because I changed the head yeah. I've taken the head to the left hand side so this is a little out of place but I can fix that Okay, enough tinkering with the head now. Is um, ah, well, I have to <laughs> redraw the ear. It's just So I'm just going around the form here, put some tone maybe here as well, goes all the way, gastronomicus, this is a little bit longer than I have drawn it. Okay guys, it got a little messy, but I hope you learned something and well, I see you in the next tutorial. Okay, don't forget, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Okay, bye. Okay guys, now the really the last touch-ups I did erase the ear and because the face was looking funny, a little bit out of proportion, head got a little too big and so this is the last touch-ups, a little bit of shade here and there and what else? like so, articulating the lines a little so this is okay, this got a little messy here but can't change that anymore okay and come here and And here the sternal cladded mustard muscle is coming here and it got way too dark here and the breast is a little bit got a little too far to the right okay guys I stop here and I see you in the next tutorial. Take care and keep drawing. Bye.